Hello everyone, welcome to my way, my way English. Here I'm gonna show you how to learn, how to teach, uh, how to teach and learn English in a different way, more active way through speaking. And today we are going to talk about irregular verbs. Uh, witam wszystkich na tym kanale. Chciałbym pokazać jak e, moim zdaniem należy się uczyć lub nauczać angielskiego przez, <coughs> przez mówienie, przez, mu, przez opowiadanie historii, przez przykłady, a, a nie tylko przez e, zapamiętywanie e, różnych słów i regułek. E, dzisiejszym tematem jest, są czasowniki nieregularne w drugiej formie w czasie przeszłym. Kilka czasowników nieregularnych. Ok, so I'm gonna tell you a story. Będzie małe, krótkie opowiadanie. And uh, we are going to talk about last Friday. Last Friday I. And first of all, last Friday I. I went to the bank. Last Friday I went to the bank and I and I and I took some money out or I took out some money last Friday I went to the bank and I took out some money and then I I went to the station and I went to the station and I caught a train. Oh, I caught a bus. Shouldn't be bus. Yeah, we have bus. Okay, let it be train. And I caught a train to the city. I went to the station and I caught a train to the city. Okay, then I went to the market and I bought a t-shirt. I went to the market and I bought a t-shirt. I bought a t-shirt. Then I went to the town hall. I went to the town hall and I and I saw and I saw the mayor. I saw the mayor. Tak, czyli poszedłem do ratusza i zobaczyłem burmistrza. Burmistrza miasta, prezydenta miasta. I saw the mayor. Then I went to a supermarket and I bought a sandwich. I went to the supermarket and I bought a sandwich. Okay. Then again I specjalnie robię przerwy, żebyście sobie mogli, żebyście mogli to wy uzupełnić ten, tą moją przerwę. I went to Okay, I went to the tourist office and I bought or I got a postcard. A postcard. I went to tourist office and I bought a postcard. Then I went to uh, to the post office and I and I sent it. I sent it. I sent the postcard. I now you I went to the post office and I sent the postcard. 
Okay, then I I went to the station again. I went to the station and I came back. I came back. I came back. Wróciłem. Okay? Wróciłem z miasta. I came back. Okay. Then I went to the sports center and I I went to the gym I played basketball I threw the ball I flew and I caught the ball I flew and I caught the ball and I shoot oh sorry and I shot the ball I shot the ball I flew I caught and I shot the ball I flew I caught and I shot the ball okay so it goes like this last Friday I went to some place here yeah? i poszedłem pojechałem do jakiegoś miejsca and then bank and I some money I took out some money I took out some money wybrałem pieniądze and then I went to the station and I and I caught a train to the city I caught złapałem pociąg do miasta I went to the market and I and I bought and I bought a t-shirt I went to the you remember I went to the town hall and I saw the mayor I went to the supermarket and I bought a sandwich you can say bought or I got a sandwich and I went to the where is this picture I went to the post office and I again bought or got a postcard eh, sorry I went to the tourist tourist office yeah I'm sorry Omeliwen. my bad I went to the tourist office where is the tourist office okay the tourist office is tourist office ah I went to the tourist office and I bought or I got a postcard then I went to the post office and I sent it then I went to the station and I caught a train back or I went to the station and I came I came back I went to the station and I came back I went to the sports center I uh, I went to the to the 
gym. Okay, I went to the gym. To już nie uzupełniamy, bo to już mamy, tak? I went to the gym. I went to the gym. <coughs> Or sports center. Sala to może być sports center, to jest takie ogólne stwierdzenie, albo gym. <coughs> I went to the gym and I... Played. And I played basketball. Ten czasownik jest łatwy, bo trzeba go się uczyć na pamięć, bo jest regularny, dodajemy tylko końcówkę. I played basketball. And when you play basketball, you throw, you catch, and you shoot the ball. Ale w czasie przeszłym, I threw, I caught, and I shot the ball. I threw, I caught, and I shot. And shot the ball. These are the forms to remember. You have to remember them. Uh, but remember them through stories, through examples. I to są przykłady, które trzeba z tej naszej lekcji zapamiętać. Um, pisownia jest ważna, ale przede wszystkim w mowie. Pisownia na testach, w sprawdzianach ale w, w życiu bardziej wymowa. Took out, caught, bought, saw, bought, got, sent, came, threw, shot. Ok. Staracie się zapamiętać, możecie zatrzymać, bo teraz będzie mały test. Ja marzę te formy i jeszcze raz powtarzam. One, two, three. Okay. Last Friday I went to the bank. And I took out some money. Robię przerwy, ale starajcie się je te przerwy uzupełniać. Last Friday I went to the bank and I took out some money. Last Friday I went to the station and I caught a train to the city. Last Friday I went to the station and I caught a train to the city. Jeśli nie pamiętacie, powtarzajcie za mną. To jest bardzo ważne. So repeat after me when you don't remember these. Last Friday I went to a... to a... Where is it? Oh. Supermarket. And I... Bought a t-shirt. Oh, sorry, I went to the market. Yes, I went to the market. Sorry, where is the market? Okay, never mind. Ważniejsze są czasowniki nieregularne, miejsca. A to inny temat. I went to the market and I bought a t-shirt. I went to the... Hmm, again. I went to the... Pamiętacie? Do you remember? I went to the town hall and I saw the mayor. I went to the town hall and I saw the mayor. Okay, I went to... to the tourist office and I got, I bought a postcard. I went to the post office and I sent it. 
I went to the post office and I sent the postcard. Then I went to the station and came back. I went to the station and came back. And I went to the gym and I played basketball. I went to the gym and I played basketball. I threw the ball. I caught the ball. I shot the ball. I threw, I caught and I shot the ball. I threw, I caught and I shot the ball. Okay? Repeat. Repeat over and over again. Bardzo ważne jest, żebyście powtarzali. Oglądając ten filmik, powtarzali. I zapamiętali. So, repeat and remember. Okay. Thank you very much. <coughs> and see you next time.